Maya Karlin, a security writer at NI, argues that the Russian stealth drone, the S-70 Okhotnik, which has been in development for just over a year, may soon not see combat. She attributes this to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and the prioritization of funding for existing weapons deemed more effective on the Ukrainian front. The evidence certainly supports Carlin's view. Initially, the Okhotnik was slated to enter serial production in the latter half of 2024. However, this timeline appears unlikely. The Russian Federation conducted its last known flight tests of the stealth drone in February. On February 4, Sergei Samka, a representative from the Novosibirsk regional government, noted that the S-70 was nearing the final stages of testing, with production expected to commence in the second half of the year. This development signals Russia's notable advancements in unmanned technology and underscores the nation's commitment and capability toward military modernization, Samka stated at the time. In the summer of 2018, the Novosibirsk aviation plant named after VP Shkalov assembled the first prototype of the S-70 unmanned aircraft, marking a significant milestone. The UAV took its inaugural flight on August 3, 2019, followed by its first joint mission with the Su-57 multipurpose fighter in September. By December of that year, a second prototype featuring various improvements had also successfully completed its flight tests. Approximately six months later, it was reported that flight tests for the new UAV were nearing completion, with a target date set for 2024. This would pave the way for the Hunter to enter serial production immediately. Besides fulfilling the needs of the Russian armed forces, the drone is also set to be exported to non-enemy countries due to its high demand globally. The Russian Ministry of Defense has regularly emphasized that the new UAV will be delivered to the Russian Air Force in substantial numbers. It is intended to work alongside both current and future manned aircraft models. Additionally, Admiral Nikolai Evmanov, Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Navy, has confirmed that the new unmanned aircraft, including the S-70, will also be integrated into naval aviation. While it's tempting to attribute the silence surrounding Russia's stealth drone solely to the war in Ukraine, the reality is a bit more intricate. For one, stealth technology plays a significant part. Russia faces challenges in mass-producing the S-70 Okhotnik unmanned drone largely due to the complexities of developing advanced stealth technology. Achieving the necessary expertise and precision engineering on a large scale is no small feat. Proving their competence in stealth technology remains an ongoing issue for Russia. Take the Su-57, lauded as the pinnacle of Russian combat aviation. Despite its marketed stealth capabilities, Western experts argue otherwise, noting its radar cross-section is 0.5. When you compare this to Western or Chinese stealth aircraft, it falls short. Even the French Dassault Rafale, which isn't classified as stealth, has a similar radar cross-section. Economic constraints also contribute to the delays in producing the S-70 Okhotnik. Creating complex military equipment is expensive, and while Russia's defense budget is considerable, it has its limits. Economic sanctions from Western countries further exacerbate financial difficulties, adding another layer of complexity to the issue. Supply chain issues are also a crucial factor to consider. Manufacturing the advanced components required for the S-70 Okhotnik often depends on a complex web of suppliers. Any disruptions in this supply network, whether due to geopolitical conflicts or logistical obstacles, can significantly impact mass production efforts. It's important to note that detailed information about this Russian weapon remains scarce. The data we will discuss below is based on Russian sources and has not been officially confirmed, so the authenticity cannot be guaranteed.
The Russian S-70 Okhotnik, or the Hunter, is a stealth-capable unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, developed by Suhoi in collaboration with the Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG. This UCAV is designed to perform a range of missions, including reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and precision strikes. The S-70 Okhotnik boasts impressive dimensions, featuring a wingspan of around 20 meters, 65.6 feet, and a length of approximately 14 meters, 45.9 feet. Its propulsion system is powered by a single AL-31F turbofan engine, the same one found in the Suhoi Su-27 fighter. This engine delivers the thrust needed for both high-speed operations and extended missions. Equipped with a single turbojet engine, the drone is designed to be less detectable by enemy surveillance systems, particularly in the infrared spectrum, thanks to its flat-shaped nozzle. The Hunter is optimized for subsonic speeds and is capable of flying at high altitudes over long distances. However, the exact operational specifications of this Russian UAV remain classified. The drone's avionics, developed by the Radio Electronic Technologies Concern, include autopilot and remote control capabilities. The electronic components of the S-70 can be adapted based on the specific combat mission and the conditions of the battlefield, such as the presence of air defense systems. The Okhotnik is capable of carrying a variety of weapons in its internal cargo compartment. Recently, it demonstrated its ability to drop a free-falling bomb weighing 500 kg. This versatility in weaponry, ranging from various bombs to air missiles for land, surface, and air targets, provides a significant tactical advantage, allowing a wide array of missions to be completed effectively. Besides the internal cargo space, the S-70 can also be outfitted with external racks for additional bombs, missiles, and special equipment. However, it's worth noting that externally mounted weapons can slightly impact flight performance. Despite this, the Okhotnik serves as a reliable, workhorse, and combat platform, controllable from the ground or a manned aircraft cockpit. The operational range of the S-70 Okhotnik is impressive, estimated at around 6,000 kilometers, 3,728 miles. Its primary mission is to furnish the Russian military with a flexible and stealthy platform capable of carrying out diverse tasks. These tasks encompass intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, electronic warfare, and precision strikes, positioning it as a pivotal element in Russia's contemporary air warfare strategy.